Are you planning on relocating to Leewood, Kansas? Well, I've got you covered with the actual cost of living in Leewood. But make sure to watch to the end because I have some great insights about making a move to this wonderful city. Hi, I'm Mara Coleman, your local Kansas City real estate guide. Before relocating to a new city, understanding the cost of living is really important. This video provides a comprehensive overview of all the essential information regarding the cost of living in Leewood, Kansas. And if you watch it all the way to the end, you'll see an extra special bonus of a few of my favorite things, especially if you're looking to move here with your family. Located in Johnson County, Kansas, Leewood is a thriving suburb of Kansas City, and it's known for its excellent schools, upscale neighborhoods, and a really wonderful community atmosphere. It has beautiful parks, family-friendly amenities, and a very convenient location. Leewood really offers its residents a high quality of life. But you know, understanding the actual cost of living in Leewood requires a comprehensive analysis that looks into various things, such as the housing market, transportation, healthcare and utilities, while also factoring in an upscale lifestyle. Let's start with the most important factor, housing costs. Leewood, Kansas gets a best places cost of living score of 106.2. That means the total cost of housing, food, childcare, healthcare, transportation, taxes, and other necessities is about 6.2 higher than the U.S. average. It's considered to have a higher cost of living compared to other suburbs in greater Kansas City, especially on the Kansas side of the state line. I ran a search of recently sold homes in Leewood for the past 90 days, and they ranged from 415,000 up to 2 million, with just a couple higher than 2 million. The average home price in Leewood is around $647,000. Many Leewood homes are updated beautifully, and while there are quite a few mid-century homes built in the late 1950s, there are just as many that were built in the 80s or 90s, and we are finding the brand new tear down and rebuilt in Leewood as well. The renovations are most often very well done with top of the line finishes. I have several other videos on my page that you can watch with tours of specific great neighborhoods and subdivisions in Leewood that can give you some more insight to homes that you will find here. Home prices all over Kansas City, as well as in Leewood, have consistently risen year over year, and we are expecting to see that again in 2024. Next is the transportation costs. Transportation costs contribute significantly to the overall cost of living in Leewood. Most people commute about 30, 20 to 30 minutes, and you're definitely going to need a car if you're going to live in Leewood to get to work, school, and other activities. There is very little public transportation in the Kansas City suburbs. We do have Johnson County bus system, but overall it's really necessary to have a car. Let's talk about healthcare costs. Like everywhere in the United States, the average cost of health insurance premiums for individuals and families can range from several hundred to over a thousand dollars per month. It depends on your work benefits, coverage levels, and networks. Another major thing to consider is the cost of utilities and your household expenses. The average monthly utility bill for a typical household in Leewood ranges from $150 to $300. Of course, that depends on your size of your home and your usage patterns and you know what season we're in. When evaluating the cost of living in Leewood, it's important to compare local expenses with national averages. While Leewood's housing costs may be higher than the national average, other expenses such as transportation and healthcare might align more closely with national ben the benchmarks. Understanding these differences can really help residents and newcomers really make a good decision about budgeting, financial planning, and figuring out their lifestyle choices in Leewood. Finally, let's take a sneak peek into the cost of education in Leewood, Kansas. Leewood covers a lot of area, including two wonderful public school districts, Shawnee Mission and Blue Valley Schools. The feeder high schools for Shawnee Mission are Shawnee Mission East and Shawnee Mission South. And for Blue Valley, they're Blue Valley High School and Blue Valley North. All of these schools are public schools and free to the residents and consistently winning top national and local ratings. There are no major colleges in Leewood, but there are colleges close by. UMKC is in Kansas City. Johnson County Community College is quite close by, and the costs vary for the program, whether you're in Kansas or not. KU and K-State are within an hour or two, and an, an example for a public four-year college in Kansas is about $12,000 for the 2022-2023 school year. There are private colleges in Kansas and Missouri as well, and those are just a little bit more. Leewood's high quality of life, a strong sense of community, and, a, and so many great amenities make it a desirable place to call home. Here's my bonus tip. 
Leewood has some really great places to visit with your family and friends who come in from out of town. Here are some of my favorites. And you know, they're always gonna be outside. Ironwoods Park is a really beautiful space. It has some great playgrounds, wonderful walking trails for you or your dogs, picnic areas, and an event space that is great for uh, parties, weddings, or other kinds of events. Deanna Rose is one of my most favorite places that I used to take my kids and any kids that I get my hands on <laughs> nowadays. It's right over the border there in Overland Park, but very close to Leewood. It has all kinds of animals that you can pet, interactive um, rides and feeding the goats and the baby goats and fishing, and it is at very low cost as well. Leewood City Park is a great destination. I have sat and watched so many kids' soccer games there. It also has great trails. That's where the Leewood City Pool is, as well as the dog park, which is fun. We can't take our dogs because Glennis has a thing about um, doodles, but it's a really great park as well. If you haven't been to the museum at Prairie Fire, it is a fantastic science museum, natural history, cultural heritage. They have a gigantic dinosaur when you first walk in, and it's really a beautiful building with some gorgeous stained glass. It's about $12 for adults and $8 for kids. These are just a couple things that are in Leewood. There's all kinds of great shopping, wonderful restaurants, and really a wonderful entertainment uh, opportunities. If you found value and would like to see more of these videos, please click on the boxes on the screen. If you want to learn more about Leewood, Kansas, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my socials to keep yourself updated. Hit the like button if you found this video informative. Once again, I'm Mara Coleman, your real estate expert. Feel free to reach out if for any help. My contact details are in the description below. I'll catch you next time. Bye.